What is your opinion of York versus American Standard air conditioners? American Standard was found to be one of the most reliable AC brands by Consumer Reports, along with Rheem and one or two other brands. I've heard air conditioners can have different standards based on different models. The Silver SI American Standard air conditioners are the basic model. The Gold SI units have a higher rating and better warranty. That's kind of like the Whirlpool Gold Kitchen Appliances, their premium version. Except the Whirlpool Gold refrigerators and dishwashers do worse than their more expensive generic appliances. I thought American Standard had 15 and Z inversions. Their Platinum line of air conditioners have the XM and ZV versions. The biggest difference between those and the other ACs is the more advanced control system. I'm annoyed enough with the Nest programmable thermostat that the utility installed. I'm not paying extra for an HVAC system that compounds on the problem. American Standard ACs are not perfect. What goes wrong? American Standard ACs have problems with moisture control. They tend to leak water they collect. Or you could get a York air conditioner. York is not a national brand like train or carrier. You literally cannot find parts for them in some regions. That is not as bad as Bosch appliances waiting for parts to come in from Germany. York air conditioners are more complicated to install than other major brands, and the installation is one of the most problematic parts of owning the unit. That is, you'll get a lot of problems if they install it wrong. I've seen people who had poor performance because the AC or its ducts were the right size for each other. If you are going to buy York, get the Affinity instead of the LX. The Affinity costs more but has higher efficiency. How is their warranty? The Affinity TCHD, the smaller Affinity AC, does not have a warranty. The other models have a 10-year parts and compressor warranty. Then I'm going with American Standard.